Belarus opposition in the streets despite the threat of live ammunition. The Belarusian opposition is planning another large Sunday demonstration against President Alexander Lukashenko, this time under the threat of live ammunition from the police, who had already put down the previous rally last Sunday. This protest action is also the first in scale since the ultimatum given to Lukashenko, in power since 1994, by the leading figure of the opposition Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, a refugee in Lithuania. She has given the president until October 25 to step down, otherwise she will call on the country to take to the streets, and a general strike. The 66-year-old president, under unprecedented pressure since the controversial August 9 presidential election, has shown no intention of complying with the demands of his critics, on the contrary. All Belarusian opposition figures are now in detention or in exile abroad. And last Sunday, the weekly protest in Minsk was violently suppressed by police, who used water cannons and stun grenades against crowds and arrested hundreds of people. This intervention was the most brutal in weeks. On Monday, the Interior Ministry warned that police will now not hesitate to resort to live ammunition if necessary, which would constitute a serious escalation of the crisis. The authorities, who accused the West of fomenting protests to bring down Alexander Lukashenko, justified this decision by assuring that the demonstrations had become organized and extremely radical with throwing stones, bottles and knives at the riot forces, as well. Only barricades and braziers in the streets. KGB leader Ivan Turtel said on Saturday he was aware of an imminent provocation in the works to destabilize Belarus. This march will be no different from the others, it is just another attempt to scare, Dmitry Malays, 33, an opposition supporter, told AFP. Belarusian police had already fired live ammunition in early August, during the first demonstrations repressed by force in Brest, in the south of the country. A protester had then died of his injuries. Ultimatum other, smaller gatherings have been put down by police since the last giant protest on Sunday. On Monday, police dispersed a protest by retirees with tear gas and stun grenades, marching in opposition red and white through the streets of Minsk. On Saturday, during the traditional demonstration of women and students, several people, including journalists, were arrested. In his ultimatum set for October 25th, the opponent Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, in addition to the resignation of Mr. Lukashenko, called for an end to the repression of demonstrations and the release of all political prisoners. If our demands are not met by October 25th, the whole country will take to the streets peacefully, she warned Tuesday. And on October 26th, a nationwide all-business strike will begin, all roads will be blocked, sales in state stores will collapse. Since the start of the protest movement, hundreds of demonstrators, leaders of political movements, trade unions and journalists have been arrested. While Lukashenko enjoys the support of Moscow, he is under threat of sanctions from the European Union. The EU has already sanctioned 40 regime officials, including the Interior Minister and his deputy, accused of being involved in the crackdown and rigging of the August 9 presidential election, the outcome of which Europeans do not recognize. Mr. Tikhanovskaya has increased his trips abroad, garnering support from Berlin and Paris in particular, but Moscow considers these interventions as interference and considers that the opponent and former presidential candidate is not a legitimate interlocutor.